This video will not show how to model but the main process on making models for games. I am not a professional modeler so this is just a self-taught way as an indie developer. You can use any modeling software but I use Blender. You can make high quality game assets using free software like this as well. You can also opt for paid ones although it isn't 100% required. Some examples are Autodesk 3DS, Autodesk Maya, Cinema 4D, and ZBrush is good for sculpting. Whichever software you use, you can find many free beginner tutorials on how to use it online such as on YouTube. I am going to be modeling a full lighthouse and I wanted to have a proper interior so I kept this in mind throughout the modeling process. For most models you will need some sort of reference photos. Sometimes you might model something you drew concept art for yourself. For this model I found many photos online on websites such as Pixabay, Pexels and Unsplash where the photos are royalty free and often high quality. Here are the main reference images I collected for the final version which I compiled as a collage using Photoshop. This way I can zoom into each photo when needed. I then break down the model into the main components so I can model each thing separately which is an efficient workflow in my opinion to ensure everything looks good and you can focus on one part. The first part of the lighthouse I wanted was the base which will be a circular brick wall which I based off this image. I modeled it in Blender and used different techniques such as arrays and curves to model it faster and accurately. Also it is useful to have a scale model to use as reference. Since I am making it for Unreal Engine, I exported the player mesh from it and imported it in Blender. This is necessary so you model everything proportionally in respect to each other. The overall model can still be adjusted in scale once you finish it if needed. I randomized the meshes so it looks like realistic bricks since it won't all be identical and perfect. This is how the final bricks part turned out, side by side with the reference. I usually never copy reference photos exactly since I still want to make it my own and I use references mainly for things I am not an expert about such as lighthouse architecture. There is absolutely nothing wrong with just modeling off reference either however. Next I modeled the base part and entrance roof. I took inspiration from this photo for this section. I use the mirror tool often to ensure things line up properly such as the screws and side walls. You also want to try to be as efficient in terms of poly count. If you are making a realistic AAA game with a powerful engine like Unreal Engine, then you can go for a higher poly count, especially if it's something that will be seen close up. However if you are making something more stylized or a low poly game then try to reduce the count. For example this Plague Doctor character model is over 400,000 polygons so is reasonably only going to run smoothly on higher end specifications. This Plague Doctor however is only 17,000 polygons yet still looks realistic and high quality. If you are making a VR baseball game for example you will need to see the glove close up and almost always so it makes sense to use a high poly model even if in other scenarios a model like this wouldn't need to be 80,000 polygons for game uses. This gun model looks great but it is one and a half million polygons which is way too much for a game. This cat model will be used in more stylized games and is only 6,000 polygons while looking nice visually. There are also techniques where you can use a low poly version of a high poly mesh with baked textures such as this video shows but I won't cover that here. Next I made the door. I want this door to rotate in Unreal Engine so this is another reason why modeling the components separately at first is useful. I used some reference photos of hinges here to make it as accurate as possible. Here is the final door side by side with the reference image I used. I then continued modeling the rest of the lighthouse. I made the windows, top section, light cage, and box. The light box being separate will let me give it a spinning functionality in engine easily. I had the main model done at this point and wanted to start doing the interior. Since I am making it to use with Unreal Engine I was already aware of the geometry Unreal provides so I could use those for the stairs instead of manually modeling it. I made the linear and spiral staircase in Unreal Engine in proportion to my lighthouse then exported it out. 
This is since it wasn't perfectly matching up with my model so I had to modify it in Blender. At this point I needed to ensure the interior was completely navigable so I exported it and tested it in Unreal Engine many times to check that the scaling and collisions were all correct. Now I had the whole lighthouse model ready and just had to make the accessories. For this model I needed some light sources as it would be pitch black on the inside. I made a wall lantern to go around the walls and a ceiling lantern to be hung from the floor's roof. Also since I was making it specifically for Unreal Engine I didn't optimize it entirely for Blender renders. For example I didn't actually place the lanterns in the Blender model since I will add them in Unreal with lighting setups. I now finished all the parts and could texture the model. I wanted it to be in a realistic style so I used PBR materials which uses multiple maps to give it the exact texture including the roughness and metallicness etc. You can use any textures including ones you made yourself but I used ambient CG for mine. The website had many high quality materials and I used 4K ones. I assigned different materials to each part of my lighthouse such as the bricks and door etc. I then set up the materials and UV. You can find many videos on how to add these in the software of your choice online. The only important tip I have for this section is that you want to bake your textures so we don't need individual materials for each and every part of the model and instead it can use one texture, with that texture having all the different parts such as a section for wood and metal. For Blender, I found these two videos by Ryan King Art extremely useful and it taught me how to do textures properly for game assets. Here is the final textured model in Blender with the components separated. You can see the materials don't look that good in Blender even in rendered mode but that is since I prioritized the material quality in Unreal Engine as I am much more experienced with Unreal Engine's material creator. Also after making the lighthouse and adding it to Unreal I got the idea to make a control panel so I modeled and textured it newly. Here are all the baked textures I created, imported into Unreal Engine. I made a PBR master material in Unreal with customizable parameters and macro variations so I could add extra quality in Engine. And here is how the final lighthouse looks inside of Unreal Engine 5 in a nicely lit environment. Here is the lighthouse being used in a game environment with functionality. I also made the control panel functional in Engine. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.